multiplication of probabilities and independent events. You will find this on page 634 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. In the general rule for independent events is called the multiplication law of probability. Independent events are events for which the outcome of one event does not affect the outcome of a second event. For example, if we roll a die and then roll it again, the outcome of the second roll is independent from the outcome of the first event. If A and B are two independent events, then the probability of A and B occur is probability A and B. So basically you just take the probability of the one, you multiply it with the other one, and that is the result that you want. Okay, so and, for and, I multiply the probabilities. Let's look at an example. A coin and a die are tossed at the same time. Remember, the one cannot influence the other one. Determine the probability that the result will be a head on the coin and a six on the dice. So, on the coin, it's either head or tail, so a head will be one out of two. On the dice, it's a six. If there's six, there's only one number which is six, so it's one out of six, and it's independent. And if I want to find the combined result, I'll multiply it to see what is that combination um, I will get. So I take this answer, I take this answer, and I just multiply it. You can stop the video and do try now 8, number 1, as well as number 2. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. A coin, again a coin, and a die are tossed together. Calculate the probability of getting a head on the coin so probability, this is my coin, let's write this my coin. The probability of a head is 1 out of 2. Uh, and the, uh, on the coin and an odd number on the dice. Okay, so here is my dice. Remember my dice is having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if you look for the odd numbers, it's 1. It's 3 and 5. So the probability of an odd number is 3 out of 6, which we can simplify to a half. Okay, now the combination. So if I want to say the probability of the combined effect, so that will be the hit or the odd number, I will just multiply. So it's that half, multiply this half, and my final probability for that combination will be a quarter. Okay. And then number two, let's do number two. A fair dice starts once, and the value that appears on top is noted. So it's again a dice, so if it's a dice, it's again my six numbers. A card is then. So remember my dice is having my six numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, a card is then drawn from a pack of 52 playing cards. Calculate the probability that the result is a 2. So it's actually just referring to this 2. So the probability of that 2 is only one 2. It's not 2 the number. Uh, it's not counting 2. It's just 1 out of 6. Okay. So that is for my dice. Uh, and, but now we go on. And the pro... Oh, here. Uh, let's just number two. Calculate the probability that the result is a two and then a queen. Now I have to take you back maybe to the cards. Some of you know cards very well, some not. So if you look at my cards here, let's just go back to here. 
And what did they say? They said, a queen. So if I look queens, there's one, two, three, four. So two black and two red. So it's four out of 52. So let's just go back. So the probability, and this was now my cards. Remember my cards? How many cards are there? There are 52. Take out the jokers. So if I say the probability of a queen, what will that be? It will be 4 out of 52. And you can hold it, just make it nice. Uh, 52. And you can simplify that, um, which is 4 out of 52 will be 1 out of 13. But now I come to the combined effect. So if I say the probability of that two or the queen, then it will be that one over six multiply that one over thirteen. And that, if you take your calculator, multiply the denominators, that combination, the probability to get that combination, that means a 2 out of the dice, if you throw it, and a queen will be 1 out of 78.